Good afternoon, everyone. How's it going for you for a Saturday? I'm just going to give everyone a moment to hop on. Um, that was different. I'm afraid to click any buttons because I don't know. Oh, there we go. Facebook just popped up a new screen that I haven't seen before, so I don't know what it was doing. Let me make sure that you guys can hear me and I'm online. Also, get ready to see your comments. Here I am. And we can hear. Yay. All right, as you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments. We're just going to wait a couple minutes and give everybody a chance to join in. And then we'll go through introductions. If you're catching the replay, please type replay in the comments and say hi. And if you're watching us on YouTube, if you could subscribe to our channel and like and share our video, we would greatly appreciate it. Too many, too many devices around me. Let's see. I forgot to do this. There we go. All right. So we weren't live last night. Um, I was feeling a bit under the weather. So we're live today, not normally on a Saturday. But yay, I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Uh, my name is Barb. And I am an independent chop couture designer. Uh, our business is business name is Farmland Designs. Sorry, my computer just. Da, 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 da. Oh, I don't know what was going on. Okay. Um, anyways, we're in Tempe, Arizona, and today we have a project. It's called the Vintage Tractor. I'm going to go ahead and place a link in the comments and this is a link to my website where you can purchase the same transfer that I am using today and it goes directly to that transfer. There we go. Let's see if this works. This is the first time I've ever tried to do this. Um, apparently I have to hit the enter key. There we go. Let's see if it shows up for everyone. Um, yeah, it did. Okay, there we go. All right, so that is the link to the transfer that we are using tonight. And we are also using a handmade surface made by Mike. And you can't see in this picture, but I'm gonna move it here in a second. <clears throat> this is where our design's gonna be. It has this really nice frame around. It's uh, handmade with uh, pine wood and stained in ebony ebony and smoke so smoke is on the inside and ebony is on the back side and then you can see here there are four hooks so you can use this as a coat hanger or a hat rack or a key rack a little bit of all of the above <laughs> um, it's super sturdy and it will last a lifetime here at Farmland Designs, we do sell our finished goods. So if you're ever interested in more information about what we make, uh, just type info in the comments and we'll get that to you. And we'll just go ahead and get started. So this is our transfer. 
that Tractor Life. It isn't a new release, but we've had it for a while. The vintage tractor is very popular. We're going to put some, uh, I think this is called a bale of hay. Uh, oh, it's a hay roll. Okay, the bales of hay are rectangle and these are rolls. We've got a trailer and then, of course, a tractor. And, of course, we are going to be doing John Deere colors because... A tractor is not a tractor unless it's John Deere, right? Okay, I'm going to set this aside for a moment. And we're going to get our wax out. It is very important to wax, especially with wood. Wood has really tiny fibers, and they will stick to the adhesive of your transfer. Our transfers are reusable, and so we take care of them. Uh, we take care of them really well, uh, so we can use them over and over and over again. Our transfers are adhesive back and silk screen uh, for the design. Waxing protects our the adhesive on the back of our transfers from those little wood fibers. It also helps us from stretching our transfer by accident, which would skew the design and if you're doing layering or something, it won't uh, line up as good. So you want to wax to avoid that. We also fuzz our transfers and I'll get to that here shortly. I'm just gonna put some wax. You don't need a lot, just a little. And prior to putting our design on, Mike does seal his work with a clear Krylon um, sealer. And if you wanted to change your design out, you could do that. It would clean up very nicely. I wouldn't call it a reusable surface but in a sense it is. I have many times uh, taken off a design and done a new one. We also seal the design uh, after it's done if we want it to be permanent. Okay, I'm taking a clean cloth here and just buffing out the wax. Make sure there's no wax residue because that will clog your silk screen. And I need to get this off. Okay, there we go. Great. All right. Um, so let's start with. Let's start with. Our tractor because it has a couple different layers and we're just going to line this up this is the second layer so this is the first and our transfers give you instructions there's a little one right there and on this one it has a little two so it tells you in what order to do this Get my fuzzing cloth. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can just use a terry cloth towel or your shirt or whatever makes you fancy. I have used this transfer a couple times, so it's not super, super sticky, but I still fuzz it once or twice. And I want to line this up correctly with our trailer so let's see let me make sure that's straight Yeah, looks pretty good. 
Sorry, my nose is itchy. So how's everyone's weather where you're at? Tempe, Arizona today is going to be 71, 6. <laughs> 76. And we're going to be doing the chalk and peel method because we're using multiple colors and I want to make sure that my chalk paste doesn't dry on top of the silk screen because I'll pull it up if that happens. So I'm just going to start with the only piece of black that I have on this which is the steering wheel. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel and dry really quick. Anybody have great weekend plans? doing John Deere green and yellow. So the radiator will be yellow, the wheels will be yellow, and everything else is green. Okay. Checking with the husband just to make sure here. As you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments. And this I just need to stir this up a little bit. I really like sitting down doing projects, but it makes it really hard to reach stuff. We have yellow ready. Let's just make sure we have green ready. Our yellow is called bumblebee and our green is called uh, meadow. Let's see, green, green, green. Let's do green first. I have to concentrate a bit or I'll forget and go over the wrong part. So we're just concentrating here. Okay. Squeegee off our excess, put it back in our jar so we can use it later. And let's get this piece all nice and dry, and then we'll do the yellow. <laughs> so tonight we're having some company for dinner, and Mike is smoking a brisket, so yay for that, huh? And smoking some pork ribs as well. Make sure that's dry. 
I'm going to just lay my transfer down and just reapply where I'm going to be doing my chalking. Make sure I don't have any bubbles. And here we're going to be using Bumblebee. I like Bumblebee, it reminds me of the Transformers. He's yellow, right? So far, so good, everyone. I'm almost out of my bumblebee, so it's drying kind of fast here <laughs> with the lid open. Okay, let's get this part dry. Okay, while that's drying, I'm going to go and ahead and put this, that tractor light, right in the middle. Let's get our fuzzing cloth out. Have that ready. I call this multitasking. Letting one thing dry while um, doing another part of the design. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do tractor life in green and the word that in black. I love our transfers that have the distressed look in it. You can see in the silk screen it's got little, little dots and it's that purposeful distressed look. I could never do this on my own drawing freehand, so I love that our transfers have all these awesome techniques. And let me just squeegee off my excess chalk here. Perfect. Looks looking good. I got chalk all over my fingers, which is normal for me. We call that hot mess. Okay, let's give this a little blow dry. As you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments and tell me where you're from. I'm Barb with Farmland Designs, and I'm in Tempe, Arizona. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to do another layer of wax over our design. And I had the, the key thingy that opened this, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. I put a layer of wax in between the layers of chalk paste so that the second layer doesn't reactivate the first layer and pull up with the design. Wax has many uses and since this probably isn't 100% dry, I just kind of dab. I don't wipe uh, super hard. I just dab until I can kind of feel it smoothing out. And then we take our clean towel and get it buffed. So any excess wax gets picked up. We're going to need that, so I'm going to leave it open. Alright. Let me get this piece buzzed. Okay, so for this we want to do the tires in black and the rest in green. Now it looks like a tractor, right guys? So get this dry.
do the trailer. And the trailer also has two pieces. And it isn't numbered. But I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the one that has the toe hitch on it. And the toe hitch, let's see. I want to make sure that I line the tires up correctly. bit further down. There we go. Okay. So this is plywood. And then this is the, the axle and tow hitch and the wheel. So everything is, the metal will be green. And then we'll do the, wheel yellow, or not the wheel, it's like the rim, I guess you call it. And then we have brown, for the wood piece. All right. And we're going to do this. We're kind of going to try and do this real fast so I don't have to do the chalk and peel. We'll see how it goes. Quick, we'll do brown and be a little squeegee, but that's okay. Brown for the wood. Now I got a little, I dripped some of the brown right here, so I'm going to carefully get that lifted. Like I said, my husband seals these, so you can change up the design. It should wipe off, <clears throat> plus it's made with pine wood, so it can be sanded and all that. here and wipe my fingers off with it. All right, let's get this dry.
so excited. Next week we're going to have our new drawing tool available for purchase. On the 23rd, it is a Chuck Tor drying tool, quick dry tool is what they call it. Now we're going to put a little bit of wax over the layer to protect it from the second layer. As you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments. Tell me where you're from. I'm Barb. I'm with Farmland Designs. Today we are making a coat slash hat slash whatever you want to hang on the hooks kind of rack, I guess they call it very sturdy my husband made it it is smoked with ebony and smoke no not smoked with <laughs> it is stained with ebony and smoke he's also smoking a brisket and pork ribs so come on over <laughs> he's like wait a second you just put that out on social media all right second layer to our i want to make sure i buffed don't have any residue there. So the wood panels line up with the green and then the wheel lines up. So that's how we know we have it we shouldn't see any of the wood. Oh, I had it perfect. There we go. You make sure it's straight. I need to stand up. Yep. Okay. Now we'll do the metal pieces in green. Is the trailer metal? This part? Okay, and then this top piece is wood, and this is a tire. Those are my next door neighbor dogs that you hear. So normally I'm live at six o'clock at night and they seem to bark during my lives. So apparently they also bark on Saturday afternoons. Quick, this black tire. Gorgeous. <clears throat> All right, we just have one more piece to go. Gas for 30 minutes. We've got a tractor and a trailer. <laughs> Next, we're going to add the payroll.
Now I'm not layering over the chalk, but I am going to be placing my adhesive transfer right over this. So I'm going to wax again. It's just extra protection. I, I don't have problems when I wax ever. And I oftentimes have problems if I don't wax. So I just wax whether I need to or not. All right, this is our hay roll. Really cute, it's got some hay flying away. As you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments and tell me where you're from. I'm Barb with Farmland Designs. I'm in Tempe, Arizona. This is a coat hat, no, not coat, coat rack uh, that my husband made that we're putting a tractor design on. And we're going to be using some curry as our main color with a touch of bumblebee. And I'm going to use our um, detail tool. And I'm just putting dots. I don't necessarily want the blending or the hot mess technique. I just literally want dots of yellow. And we got to remember to come over here because there's some flyaway pieces of hay. Okay. go what do you guys think doesn't it look cute let me see if I can lift it up any for you I'll put some of this stuff away while I'm cleaning up let me talk to you about some opportunities that we have uh, if you aren't a club member yet we have an awesome club preferred customer membership subscription program. It's $19.99 a month plus tax with free shipping. You get this exclusive transfer. This is February's transfer. It is not available for retail. And three coordinating chalk paste singles. Also throughout the year there are often promotions for club members. So every month you would get a project kit with free shipping and if you place any orders in addition to your club subscription, you get Also for the month of February, you get any of our kits 15% off. So if you're not a club, type club in the comments and I will send you additional information on how to join our membership program. And if you're interested in a side hustle or earning some extra money, part-time, full-time, working completely for, from home, uh, changing your career, we have an amazing business opportunity. This is our business in the box. It has everything you need to get started with your own business. Um, 
If you'd like more information, type teen in the comments and I will send you an invite to view a uh, no obligation free video that gives you all the details on what's required and what you need to do to start your own business. So just type teen in the comments for that. I'm all cleaned up now, so let me see if there's any way my assistant is washing transfers, so we're going to do this without him. Oh, you know, I have some... I just want to make sure it's dry because I might touch it with my fingers and then we'll be in trouble. lift this up a little bit closer so you can see it as close as I can get there we go isn't that just gorgeous that tractor life I love the farm hence farmland designs all right if you guys have any questions for me even if you're watching the replay please put it in the comments I do respond uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend you stay warm, stay safe, and I will be back live Monday night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. See you then. Good night, everyone.